part three for creating an Excel spreadsheet from a scientific paper for Magic Upload. This is Nick Jarbo. Um, in part two, we finished with uh, beginning to understand the age model. And I found on uh, the age spreadsheet uh, a tab that has the age model calculated, which is great. Uh, they only have the age for one core. Um, so for that, they have it at the same depths um, as the uh, paleomag samples. So um, I will copy those columns. Um, age low, age high. That first. think is the best age so we'll put that in as age oh shoot missed one let's check the bottom anyway to see if it goes and they're not the same well that's too bad So, I will look at the uh, depth model. Paste it up against this depth model. here I've got an extra age delete this should show up and then so I'll delete these two Now they're not matching at all. That's too bad. They did in the other core. Okay, well. Two of these, I suppose. Okay. Delete this one. One 
because these seem to match up again. So we'll delete one here actually is better. up again pretty good pretty good exact pretty good 66 get rid of this one model ends at 578 so um, take out this one also For the rest of them, it's not very much distance. You could extrapolate it if you wanted to. I'm just going to put in the same age here for this. And then uh, for the other core, um, we could do the same thing. Uh, but since they didn't age, didn't date that one directly, um, I'm just going to put an age range for the whole thing, high, low, um, 931 for the high, and 55 five for the low. So that'll return it for anybody that's looking for this range of ages. They can get that, and then they can take a look and see what they really want. They can do their own age model. If you were contributing your own data, maybe you would want to have an age model for both of the cores. Uh, but since we're interpreting theirs, uh, we try to do it in the like, widest interpretation uh, that's reasonable. So now we've got the ages filled out. Uh, we require an age for every site. So uh, without an age, uh, you know, geologic uh, searching is um, pretty useless. So, uh, you know, if you just know it's Cretaceous, then please put in that. Uh, you need some age in there. Uh, and now the citation. They did the dating. Um, in this paper, so if everything, all the data is from this paper, we just put in this study. Actually, I want to put in the Dewey for this uh, paper. Here it is. So we used to put in, uh, we used to have our own custom references, but now we put in the Deweys. Okay. And that long core depth. So now we want deck and ink to be one, one, mad. Uh, so the other spreadsheet that has the directions. And 
so for the first one we want the corrected ones and that starts at uh, nine millimeters We should be able to, well, let's take a look actually. And hopefully these match up. Okay, and next what we want is the deck and ink of the uh, next core. Okay, Let's see if it matches up. Yes, it does. Let's see here, number of samples, one, one. So, let's see if we have MAD, if we have a single direction. Do we have MAD at the site level? I'm not sure if that really makes sense. Let's take a look at the data model. So yeah, so we could create uh, specimens and samples uh, for this study. Each site is corresponds to one specimen, which goes to one sample, um, and then. We could do the MAD on the direction. Um, we'll think about that. Um, probably for now, we're just going to do the first two. Uh, we're just going to do uh, locations and sites for this for this uh, demo. But uh, you could add a specimens if you wanted to get down and add all that information. And for each specimen, you'd have a sample and so on. Um, so these other directions, we're not going to put in there. So we'll just put this information. So in method codes, um, we might want to put an age that it's interpreted. Let's see if that's possible. Go to the method codes.
Well, this is fine for now. Um, okay, so now let's fill all these in that we have to the bottom. This one and that long. These extra columns can be ignored once we get to the upload. Okay, so that's fine. Save this. So we've got locations and sites. And um, then what you would do is go to the Magic homepage, go to Upload, pick your file. Close this just to make sure it's saved. Um, take that, drag and drop, and now we have it uploaded. You can look at the uh, upload video for uh, descriptions on how to run through this uh, interface. Hope this was useful.